Hello everyone, welcome to Equipped for Equine. So today we're going to take you along on a day in the life of what it's like to own horses. And for us, that starts with, I'm going to go let my horses out into another pasture to graze, one of our other two pastures. And I'm also going to soak the alfalfa pellets for them to be feeding them in the evening. So come along. Hi Duke. All right, other than going up and soaking the alfalfa pellets, this really concludes what we do for our horses in the morning. We just let them out to one of our other pastures to graze and we'll check on their water and make sure that that's good. And then they also have salt available to them, which we rarely have to refill that because we give them quite a lot at one time. But those are some other things that we just keep an eye on. Um, so that's really how simple it is for us in the morning of how we care for our horses. The evening now and I'm heading out to feed the horses their alfalfa pellets with their supplement on it called Diatomaceous Earth and I'm also going to fill one of their water troughs, um, the one that we put outside vinegar in. If you're curious about anything in these videos, why we put outside vinegar in one of their water tanks, what is Diatomaceous Earth, why we feed our horses alfalfa pellets, check the description box below where we'll have articles to how we care for them, how we feed them, and then if we have any YouTube videos up about the said topics, we'll also put those in the description box below. But come along with me, I'm going to go feed the horses. So I ended up not adding enough water to the alfalfa pellets to where they would really soak up the diatomaceous earth really good. So I'm just adding a little bit more water um, to get it to the right consistency and we'll be good to go.
Now, while the horses are eating, I'm going to go ahead and fill their water that needs apple cider vinegar added to it. Right, their other water is kind of low too, so I'm going to go ahead and fill that real quick. A little bit hard to do things one-handed. <laughs> Almost got myself wet. How are you, Duke? Coming to get some water. Now something we're doing regularly is riding star in the evenings and right now especially we're having like a few days of cooler temperatures it's super nice so I am taking advantage of it and then I'm gonna go ride her now The last thing that we'll do is we'll just check the barn, make sure all the gates are closed, the doors are closed, so that way everything is good to go for the night. And that concludes what we do for our horses in the evening. Just finished riding Star. Now I'm gonna take her up over here to the barn and come on, uh, untack her and brush her a little bit, and then let her back out with the rest of the herd.
finished writing, gathered up all the tack, and now I'm going to ooh, plug the fence back in. Excuse me for a moment. Okay, so just got the fence plugged back in now that we're done writing. We're like always, we always turn the electric fence off because we don't want to get shocked or our horse gets shocked while we're riding. So we do that and uh, turn it back on whenever we're done. All right, so that concludes our day in the life of what it's like to own horses. Thank you for stopping by our YouTube channel. You can check out our website, equipperequines.com, where you'll find more about our simple, natural, effective, affordable approach to horse keeping. And we'll talk to you next time.